Judy from Witch Piece Craft. I'm into stitch craft, which is mainly knitting and crocheting. And welcome to today's video, my yarn adventures for the past week, which, to be honest, haven't been very much. It's been very, very busy at work because I've just got home from my annual general meeting for the charity I work for, and it's pretty busy getting ready for that. It's Sunday here in Australia. We have a brief 45 minute meeting, and then we have a nice lunch afterwards. And I quite enjoy it because once the president says the meeting is closed, it means I'm on the downhill run to my holiday and annual leave because I take it about the same time every year. So later on today, I'll be breaking out the suitcase and start planning on what I'm taking. Um, so the past week, what will I start with? Acquisitions. Yes, I have a few, only a couple, but not yarn. I'm still being very good. And not buying any yarn but I might have to break that tonight when I get online because I actually need some yarn in a set color so acquisitions last Sunday I went to my Ken's Ravelry group meeting which I really enjoy and was a lot of fun one of the ladies there said that spotlight our spotlight start was now stocking Addy knitting needles and she had a set there and was using them and she said she was really happy now these are quality knitting needles made in Germany and I decided I'd go across the road and buy a packet in the size I want because I've had trouble getting the Shigu needles I wanted in the particular size. Um, apparently the girl that does the ordering at our spotlight said she ordered them not thinking she would be allowed to stop them because it's a B-class store. I don't know what that means but... If it's B class, they can only stock so much of so much stuff, but they sent them to her and she was selling them. So yes, I got that. And while I was there, if you remember, I was trying to make the Victrina hat, I think it's called, from Dabbling Hood. I bought the pattern and I said it was the hook I was using because it was cheap and nasty. Well, she had some Addy big size crochet hooks. So I bought knitting needles and a crochet hook and the reason I did that was I had a 20% off voucher. So they're about $14 each and I got 20% off which made me really happy. I'm really getting into this using the vouchers. I never noticed I used to get them and probably just threw them away. I quite like getting a bit of discount on my acquisitions. So that was it for the week. That's all I bought. But while I was at the Ravelry group meeting, Ulia who runs it discussed and showed me um, what she takes on the aeroplane when she travels, which was really helpful. And we talked about that a bit. And she gave me some stitch markers, which are here as a Bon Voyage present. Isn't that nice? Because I did lose all my stitch markers earlier this year, inadvertently. In here, they're pretty standard, but there is a special one. It's a little red heart. Ulia's favourite colour is red. She wears red, she uses red, and hearts is one of her favourite things, along with making poppies. So that's really nice. They're going to go in my travel kit as my travelling stitch markers. So it's nice to get a little Bon Voyage present from the group. Um, it's only a small group, but we have a lot of fun and laughs. And we're hoping to meet up next weekend, because next weekend in Cairns, we have Crafts Alive, which is like a craft fair. I think this is the second year they've had it. It goes across two days. My son bought me tickets to both days for Mother's Day, so I'll be going. And the Ravaliers or the Cairns Ravelry Group decided we might meet up one day, either Saturday or Sunday, and go around in a group. So that'll be a lot of fun. So that was my acquisitions. Um, Finished objects. Where do I start with my finished objects? First of all, I made a beanie. It's the divine beanie. Now, I did see this on a podcaster's channel and I couldn't remember who it was or where the pattern was. And then earlier this week, maybe even on last weekend, I was listening to Crystal's crochet and stuff. And she made it and she put a reference to the pattern. I thought, bingo, I found it again. So I've made the Divine Beanie. I love this pattern. But more importantly, 
I remember someone, one of the podcasters, I can't remember who, saying how much they liked Premier Yarns. It may have been Leah from Leah's hand, Homemade or Handmade Craft. Premier Everyday Yarns. Now, I had two balls sent to me from a subscriber, Janet Lepre, and I dug them out. Oh, this is my new favourite yarn. I love this yarn. I can see why Leah likes it. It is lovely and soft. It is so easy to work with. Wow. It, it is number one favourite yarn. I may have to get some of this, more of it, in some variegated colours or other colours. But oh, I love this yarn. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's amazing. It is incredibly soft and it doesn't split. So that was my... Um, blue beanie I made and then because I was thinking of my holiday and sometimes London can be cold which it's not at the moment they're having a heat wave I thought I'd make a cowl because while I was running around for the premier run I came across all my latte cakes and Debbie at Canadian Cottager was working through her cakes and it made me think wow well, I've got a lot of cakes so I decided I would make and it's not going to show up very well on this because I'm not going to put... Oh, I could try putting it on, but it'd be a mess. It's a crossover cowl by the Crochet Crowd in Karen Latte Cake. The colourway I used, because this is about how much is left over. And yes, to be honest, I did do a bit of colour controlling. I'm a control freak. I didn't like some of the way it was going... On, it looks amazing it is incredibly soft it is beautiful yarn the colorway I used plum fresh I think this is going to be my favorite latte cake color I don't know if you can see that but yes a little bit of color controlling the only problem I had with it is you can see the fluffy bits some of those broke off and my eyes got itchy and that was really weird but after a while my eyes came good and got used to it so I made a cow one because I'm going to London and two I'm in yarn bingo for August and I needed a cow so I've got a hat and a cow so far towards yarn bingo um what else did I do so Remember I made the two-hour slippers from Secret Yarnery and I raved about them? Well, thinking about my holiday, I've made a pair, another pair, to take on my holiday. I'm a bit weird, I guess. I don't like walking around hotel rooms in bare feet. I'm always worried I'm going to pick up bugs or something. And I don't particularly like those cheap, nasty flip-flops hotel rooms provide. So... I've used, I had more Bernay Pet. I've used Bernay Pet and the hot pink colour is the Spotlight USA style yarn. But I've made my holiday slippers, another pair. I think I'm addicted to making these slippers because I just said a little while ago to my son, oh, what if I made a Lurexy blingy pair? But there's only so many pair of slippers you can wear and I'm definitely wearing mine around the house every day. So I made those. Um, I'll put links to all the patterns I've used in the description below. Maybe even the yarn I've used. We'll see. So I did go to my crochet for cancer group yesterday and dropped off my donations. But I had a corner to corner I hadn't finished, which I finished last night. And put a board around this one. I did it in 10 rows of pink and purple because I had a lot of this yarn in my stash. I don't know if I'll give it to that one or to another, uh, make it a donation to another group, but I finished my corner to corner late last night. I enjoyed the crochet for cancer group yesterday. There was a new lady there. She was doing corner to corner for the first time and I helped her with how to decrease. She was doing at the de decreasing stage and she said she needed a bit of help. And I really enjoyed that. I'm not a very good teacher. I think I'll leave that to Uli in our Ravelry group. But, yeah, that was fun. So that was finished. And 
The other thing I've worked on and why I ha might have to buy yarn tonight is, and it's huge. If you remember, I was going to, oh, was making my son a throw or a lap blanket, but my son is six foot three. And this lap blanket is almost like a blanket for me. It's a corner to corner. It's huge. But I love the colour. It's hickory. I have run out of the yarn. And I'm going to need, I think, to finish it, three more balls. So I'm going to have to buy some yarn from me, Mother's. Red Heart Ombre Hickory. I really like it. I love working with the yarn. It doesn't split. It is so easy. But yes, when I started a lap blanket for him, I didn't realise I was making a single bed blanket that would fit me. So yeah, I need to get some of that. Um, I don't think I've really done much since then. I have started um, through encouragement from... Well, we are at the Ravelry group about what to take on the plane, make a simple shawl. I've checked hat patterns, some of the ones she recommended. I couldn't get motivated, but I have started a virus shawl. I've only ever made one shawl before recently, and it was a virus shawl, and I thought I'd do that again. I have some lovely yarn, and I'll perfect my virus shawl. So wish me luck with that. And the other thing I've started, because I've been eyeing it off for a while, it's on the secret yarny, the drunken granny, what is it called? The drunken granny stitch baby blanket. And I've started, I had a lot of charity yarn, and I've started one of those for a wheelchair blanket. And I'm enjoying that because it is so easy. And that might be a project I take on the plane, make another one. So there you have it, my yarn adventures for this week. Next weekend is Crafts Alive. I'm really excited. Um, at the meeting today, my uh, one of my boss's wives is into quilting and he said to me, if you see any of the Husqvarna sewing machine stand, give me a call. And I said, oh, no, I won't call you. I'll just use the company credit card so she can buy it. <laughs> I think he was going to wring my neck. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because I, I missed last year as so I was overseas and I think it'll be fun. And you never know what I might find there. So, guys, I haven't watched a lot of videos this week. I've sort of done some brief catching up and then stopping because I get interrupted. I think before I went to my meeting, I was halfway through um, known as, known as uh, Stitches with Rosie. I can't remember what. I think that's what it was called. She had a granddaughter and I had to stop it because I was running out of time. I finished watching that. But there you have it. My yarn adventures for this week and on the downhill countdown to my holiday. Look, thank you to all my loyal subscribers. I appreciate you watching. Um, I love reading your comments. So please leave a comment, anything, anything you can suggest. Premier yarn, my new yarn. I'm in love with this stuff. I believe me and mothers can get it for me too. That could be tempting. Okay, to new subscribers, if you've enjoyed watching this video, check out some of my other yarn adventures. You might find some stuff there you like and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and share on social media if you have it. It would be appreciated. Until next time, hopefully next week, I'll have some bigger and better yarn adventures. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a crafty day.